So my question is, I got in a pretty bad accident back in 04-ish, and ever since then, um, I can't seem to get over the fear of any big jumps or anything like that. Uh, coming up to the jump face, I always second guess myself. Never had any problems before with any of that kind of stuff. Um, rode for you know years and years and years before that and now I've just been having the problem ever since then like I said even on a quad on a bike no matter what it is I just can't get over that fear coming up to the jump to even commit is there anything I can do or what is a good way to get this out of my head thanks good question Cam or Evan do you guys have any advice I can only speak from personal experience of like how I get out of my own head okay. over anything else. Um, I always go and watch other riders and how they're hitting it, you know, listen yeah. to their bikes, you know, what maybe if they're hitting it, like what gear they might be hitting it in, where they're coming out of a corner to hit it, what part of the jump they're hitting it, just to give a little extra confidence that like that might be the smooth line, that might be the safer place to go um, if I'm gonna jump it. Go look at the landing, see what the landing's like to be able to, you know, if I come up short, what's the scenario? If I go long, what's the scenario? And it gives you a better peace of mind in my opinion. Excellent advice. I actually like that a lot. Yeah. And super cross, I'll do that. Make sure that you're picking a person, first of all, that you can trust that's clearing it properly to be able to listen to and use them as a reference point. It's also helpful to make sure that those guys that you're watching are on the same size bike as you. If you're, if you're on a 125 two stroke and you're listening to a 450, it's not going to do you much good. But if you're on a, and matter of fact, Ryan Sipes gave me that advice when I asked if I could do Red Bull Imagination on a 125, he goes, well, I jumped everything there based on listening to Behrman and everybody else's bike because we were all on 450s. So it'd be very difficult to do that from a 125 to a 450, 250 to a 450, you, you name it. Any bike difference, that makes it a little bit tricky, but it is good to get a reference point. I would say that it just sounds like you're lacking confidence, obviously. So you just need to know how to, uh, practice the right way so that you can progress safely and build confidence organically. And it just takes a little bit of time. So progress on the right jumps that are super forgiving so that you don't get hurt in the process, but kind of what building off of what Evan just said, there has to be a very, very specific game plan. The more of a game plan that you have, the more confident you'll feel because you're prepared assess the takeoff. Okay, where am I gonna hit it on this takeoff? What line should I avoid on the takeoff and why? Be able to read the jump face, know what the jump face looks like. Obviously, we need to know what gear we're in. So really assess, okay, this thing is third gear, mid throttle. I come out of this corner in second, I shift to third, I stand right here. I'm going to approach with this much speed. Really have a good game plan as far as how you're going to attack it, just gear selection wise. Landing. Same thing, read the landing and assess the landing. So be able to make the decision upon jumping at the first try. Okay, is this a jump that I want to go maybe a little bit long on? If it's a gap double jump or something like that, that you don't want to case, or is this a tabletop or a step up with a plateau landing, something that it's more safe for me to go short on? Because let's face it, if you're sending in this video asking for advice on this topic, you don't have the confidence and the memory bank stored yet to be able to look at a jump say okay that jumps 65 feet i know exactly how fast to go and we're going to get this thing first try which some people can do it just takes a lot of time so you have to be able to make that game plan okay do i go short do i go long um and know how to go long on a jump and know how to go short on a jump you go long you're landing back tire first just a tiny bit hard on the throttle head forward if you're casing you're landing typically front tire first just a little bit really keeping strong legs, making sure your knees stay back, landing on the throttle. You always want to land on the throttle. Um, but yeah, you have to, you have to just progress in a smart way because so many people, even the class I did yesterday at Sunset Ridge in Illinois, there's a lot of big jumps 
and you see people do like the smallest jump on the track and then they get a false sense of confidence. And the next thing you know, they're, they're going for the hundred foot step up and it's like, whoa, 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 there was eight different jumps in the track that you should have done before you got to that big one. Just take your time with it. Don't let other people around you pressure you. Don't feel the pressure just watching your peers and the people that you're around jumping something like really go at your own pace and, and take your time. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this clip and you want to watch full episodes of the podcast and send in video questions of your own, head over to club.themotoacademy.com.